Well, today we're going to talk about masks. Yes. So Uber has a new policy now, which uh, drivers are required to uh, report on passengers that don't wear a mask. And when you report a passenger is not wearing a mask, then that passenger won't be able to take another ride until they take a selfie the way that pa the way that the drivers do. Is this a good policy for the drivers? I'll let you know what I think and stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a, a great resource so that you can uh, evaluate what's the best mask for you and your rideshare driving. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy, drinking my morning espresso. Let's see, it's 7.33. Background. All right, so uh, up to this point, uh, drivers have had to take these selfies, right, to verify that they are in fact wearing the mask, right? Wearing the mask. Not so much for passengers, right? Well, there's a new policy, and we're gonna break that down in this video. Okay, number one, Uber's new safety policy, mask verifications, mask verifications. So it's on our shoulders, drivers, to report when a passenger is not wearing a mask. And when you report that a passenger is not wearing a mask, uh, the next time they get into a car, um, they're, they're, they're going to have to verify that they have the mask on with the selfie. Otherwise, they're not going to be able, the system won't uh, let them um, take that ride. So I'm thinking to myself, who is out there driving and letting passengers in their car who don't have a mask on? Apparently, it's happening. Yeah. So um, I'm just thinking for myself. Now, I haven't driven in a while, but if I were driving and somebody refused to wear a mask in my car, I wouldn't take them. I wouldn't take them and I would damn for sure report them so that next time they had to wear the mask. But I would not allow somebody in my car who didn't have a mask. What would you do? Um, if you're driving out there, please put in your comment comments. Are you allowing passengers in your car without a mask? Is that actually happening out there? Okay, let's look at what this looks like on the um, Uber app. All right, so the passenger confirms their ride. That's the first thing we see, the passenger will see. All right, gives them a little information and check it off. I'm wearing a face covering, confirm. Then you gotta take the photo of yourself. Good. Okay, it tells you how, how to get your face in there. Click that button checks it you see the green check mark at the bottom boom passenger is good for the ride nice work uber okay number two where is this in place so this is rolling out to all of the united states and all of canada by the end of september all right so if you're in the united states or canada this is going to be the policy by the end of the month of september which just started so over the next three to four weeks uh, if it's not in your market yet, it's coming. Number three, you can still get free masks from Uber. All right. So that's a really nice thing that they're offering. Um, and you can request them through your app or if there's a hub. Um, sometimes the hubs have them as well. So you can still get the free masks um, from Uber. Number four, Uber's wash, wear and air campaign. So I went to the website and I wanted to find out a little bit more. And uh, we've got this nice little graphic with uh, your hands, washing your hands. It's like four parts to their program here. Wash your hands, sit in the back of your car, right? That's for the passenger. Get the mask on and roll them down. Keep the windows down to get a lot of air, a lot of air circulating. Um, and that way, the, uh, the, the, the concentration of any potential COVID-19 particles is, is dispersed. Okay, number five. What are the best masks to wear? Okay, well, we did a great video called The Best Masks for Lyft and Uber Drivers, our in-depth review. And we'll put a link to that below this video. So in my, my uh, 
uh, evolution of masks, I started with this kind of a mask, okay? Then, uh, based on that video, I purchased one of these. It's a cloth mask, really comfortable, really easy to wear. Uh, you can wash them. And then, as I'm planning to go on a big trip, um, I got a more expensive one. This one's like 40 bucks. But uh, it, it's quite a bit nicer. It really covers way down here, way up here. And then they have these um, uh, filters that go inside. Okay, so you get really much, much better um, purification than, than this one here. This one's called Halo Mask. But watch the video and he breaks down all the different masks that are available and which ones he recommends and, and why. Okay, number six, driver's strategies. All right, let me take this off now. This one really feels good too. Uh, so we looked on Reddit, okay? And uh, someone posed the question, you know, um, how, how's it going out there? And I uh, wanna share with you what some of the drivers are saying. Uh, here at the top, I keep my windows locked. Um, all the time and will open them upon request. Okay, um, so this person keeps them close, keeps them uh, uh, closed, and only opens them upon request. Um, he's usually out driving drunk uh, people. Um, uh, if a passenger wants to have them open, then I'm not going to stop them. Okay, so there's two drivers that are not uh, opening the windows unless unless specifically requested. I had a rider cancel mid-trip because of it, and it led to the police escorting her out of my car. Interesting. I've been doing windows down, up partially on the highway and when it rains. Okay. Um, and then this person says, um, so I mean, he wasn't allowed to close the windows before, but I think that's true since less than half of the drivers do that. We didn't have air conditioning either, and straight out asked me if I had been exposed to COVID. Um, so. Sounds like it's kind of mixed on wh wh whether the windows are up or the windows are down. Uh, but I'm really curious about uh, you out there. Are you driving around now and allowing passengers in your car without the mask? Um, boy, if I were driving, I, I certainly I would not allow somebody in my car who refused to wear a mask. Now, one driver uh, let a woman in the car and she didn't want to wear a mask and she was very upset about it and she punched him. So uh, there's a link for that video also underneath here uh, where I do kind of a blow by blow. She spits in his car. She hits him a couple of times. Very, very bad, very bad uh, passenger who subsequently got banned from the Lyft platform. But um, the link for that video is down below as well. Key takeaways. I don't think it should be up to the driver to have to report on the passenger. Why aren't they just making the passengers do the selfies just the way they're making the drivers do the selfies all the time? That way, it would be 100% compliance. Why, why this half measure? I don't really understand that. And um, I also don't understand uh, s s some, uh, some drivers are concerned that it's going to impact their rating. Well, it's gonna, only going to impact your rating if you let that person without the mask in your car right because then you're giving them a trip if you just cancel on them you're going to get your cancellation fee and you don't have to worry about your rating and then you can still report that they don't have their mask on but why is it up to us why why are drivers in a different st status than passengers we're two human beings in a car right there should be no difference everybody should be required to wear a mask it's it just makes common sense so i don't think this is great for drivers um, I mean, certainly there'll be less people getting into cars without a mask because they're going to have to do the, do the selfie thing once they've been reported. Um, so there's, I guess it'll be a little more safe. But just the, the idea that it's up to the drivers to report on the passengers. I think it should be everybody just has to do the selfie and everybody has to have the mask on in the car. No exceptions. That's where I come out on this. Okay, that's my key takeaway. Thanks for watching the video. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Be safe.
be safe for other people. It's just, it's just the good thing to do. All right, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. All right, let's, uh, let's push this wear a mask uh, concept, you know, saving lives. Good, good things to do, right? Good karma points for you. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Sign up for notifications so you know when we do our next YouTube lives. You're going to have a great day. Wear a mask. Be safe out there. Bye for now.